Hello and welcome to the third video in the PDF Knit Along series. Uh, last video ended with a two round repeat that you were going to continue until you had a certain number of stitches remaining on the neck edge. This is how things should look for you as you begin this video. This is how things look at the end of part one. Up here is marker four. This is my beginning of round. And here's marker three. You end part one when you have a specified number of stitches between these two markers. And it's a little more clear now that that is that's clearly the neck edge. These are the raglan shoulders. And here is the front. And here are markers one and two. All right, as you're working part one, you very well may have been wondering why I had you work it on two circular needles. And here's the reason. This is needle one, and it just has the front and the lower edges. And back here is needle two. Um, you may need to take some stitches off of needle one and put them onto needle two to get the appropriate stitch count um, after marker four and uh, before marker three. But essentially, your needle number two has um, become a lifeline. It's, it's now just going to hold your stitches while you continue to work uh, the remainder of the body on just um, needle number one. All right, so the point of part two is to continue extending the garment in and down um, till you have uh, the, the bust or chest measurement that you're shooting for. You're going to continue to increase um, on each side of markers one and two, but you're no longer going to work the neck edge stitches, so you're going to be working in rows now. Okay. And your pattern will tell you how many number of rows you need to work in this section. Um, so that you will have the appropriate final bust measurement. Pretty easy knitting for you this time, just a two row repeat until you have the full circumference of your bust or chest. Next time is where you're going to have to start making some decisions, so you might want to start thinking, are you making a pullover, are you making a cardigan, are you going to want some shaping? Think about that, you'll have to make the decision next time. Until then, happy knitting!